Let's make some ferro fluid. It looks like magic, but like most things, it's actually science. Hello, wonderful people. I am Eliana, and I'm Jonathan. Welcome to a short experiment from Destructive Creativity. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel, or else we will not mail you a potato. Well, we're probably not going to do that. Well, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Let me know in the comments if you want a potato mailed to your house. Hey, Eliana, why was the fairy late to the party? Why? Because the fairy was actually a magnetic liquid substance that had no sentience. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make some fairy paste. Okay, let's get everything ready. What do we need to make fairy fluid? Well, technically we're not gonna make fairy fluid. We're gonna make fairy paste. Uh, fairy fluid is a lot more liquid than what we are going to be making, but this takes about five minutes to make, whereas Fairy fluid could take up to a week to make. Right, so to make ferro paste, what we need is iron oxide, as close to magnetite as we can get. We found some paint pigment from our local supplier. That's right. And the other ingredient that we're going to need to make ferro paste is fully synthetic motor oil. Really, the brand doesn't matter. It can be any brand, but it does have to be fully synthetic. All right, so maybe now would be a good time to mention that there are a lot of myths about how to make ferro fluid. Yeah, like stripping the iron oxide off of old cassette tapes using acetone, or mixing metal shavings with cooking oil. Yeah, those don't work. We would know. We tried them all. Yeah, I still have a bucket full of acetone and old cassette tapes doing absolutely nothing. Another thing to mention, is that this project is incredibly dirty. The iron oxide gets everywhere, so don't let it touch anything you don't want to throw out later. Yeah, if you so much as look at this stuff funny, you'll wake up the next day with iron oxide in crevices that you didn't even know that you had. I know I did. Making ferro paste is actually really simple. All you need to do is you take equal parts iron oxide, and motor oil, and you mix them together. All right, let's do that now. Okay. There. Now that we have a nice big batch of ferro paste mixed up, let's play with it. Just grab an old petri dish that you have lying around, because let's face it, you probably have about a dozen of these laying around in your basement that you haven't used for years. Unless you have a super magnet, you're going to want to stick with really thin material that separates your magnet from the ferro paste. Like a petri dish. Hey, thanks for watching. This one was a short one because we're planning something big next week. That's right. Something about extreme weather inside our house. Okay, so what do we need to make ferro fluid? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I used to know. <laughs> yeah, such as, uh, uh, are you sure? <laughs> No acetone. <laughs> I know acetone. I'm sorry. Was that in the what? script? I don't remember that, that being was... in the script. <laughs> that, uh, was, that was not. <laughs> You're lying. Technically, this we're not. <laughs> 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 <laughs>